guys this is small syringe actuated hydraulic arm we will show you a small demonstration about this so let's start a friend will apply force on the plunger of input small red hydraulic and as a result pressure is transferred to output hydraulic which is larger in diameter by Pascal law, we know that the intensity of pressure applied at any point of the fluid is same in all directions. Therefore, by applying force to the input syringe, the, in the intensity of pressure is transferred to the hydraulic or syringe use. As shown, we are transferring the pressure to the red hydraulic used in order to oscillate the link 1, which is black in color about this point. We had used large syringe as output because the load of the arm in a case is little high and we required more force to hold the system in equilibrium when no force is applied to the input syringe and as a result the green syringe works same as the red syringe in order to oscillate the link to which is red in color about this point. Our arm can use to hold any small object such as bottle and can easily pick up a small object such as bottle now coming to the gripper detail as the force is applied the gripper opens and vice versa the force is applied the gripper closes like this now coming to that guy that's a bell drive used to rotate the arm to 0 to 85 degree Till 85 degree it is constrained because the belt material used is plastic and plastic doesn't sustain the load of the arm. So we had constrained it up to 85 degree. It can rotate up to 85 degree like this. Now concentrate on this ring, the yellow string is used in order to move away these two links as shown. This Link is used to hold the magnetic particles using electromagnet. We have not used an electromagnet because electromagnet is not yet prepared. Now let's see the working of our arm. A small demo.